another video here on this Cleveland Welding Company clunker. Reworked again uh, because I'm going to sell it. So I'm going to sell it. I've had it listed recently on Craigslist uh, for not enough money, turns out, and uh, should have snapped it up then. <laughs> I removed the high rise bull moose bars in favor of the Sagino stem, which I mean, these days it's going for a couple hundred bucks. It's kind of nice and crazy. Yamaha, vintage Yamaha motorcycle bars. All the parts on this are vintage. The frame was worked by Chad Logan, Mr. Tick Bicycle Products. He did the gusset there. And I mention all the time, I did the template for that. So the design is mine, but he did all the hard work. And the whole frame has been reinforced with a ton of brazing. I will remember to do a link in the description below for the picture folder of this build on my uh, Facebook page, Bikeopolis. And uh, I was talking to him last night about it. And he's like, dude, that's a $1,500 bike. I'm like, wow, that seems like a lot of money. But he's like, well, he charges hundreds and hundreds of dollars to do work on a frame. And the frame alone has value. So, you know, I mean, there, you can find a Cleveland Welling Company frame out there that you want to build up and clunk, but I'll, I'll tell you from experience and building up a lot of bikes, the Cleveland Welling Company frame on its own, really not a super tough frame, tough looking. So you want to reinforce it. The, the wall of the tubing is a lot thinner than a Schwinn, so it's a lot lighter. So you want to add the extra brazing everywhere. You know, we, we added brazing to the dropouts. And it's just super heavy duty now. You know, brazed up in here. And uh, all this was added. A lot of added brazing in there. So, I mean, this thing can handle, you know, some abuse now. You know, it's, it's neat. Frames are going up in value. This is a straight bar. There it is. Straight bar. Double bar. Balloon tire frame. Uh, if you can find a vintage frame that has great original paint, that's something else altogether. You know, that's a frame you may not clunk. If it's a Schwinn, sure, you know, tough enough. Electroforged head tube and all that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's these things. People are hoarding the stuff now. You know, it's, it's an amazing thing. Prices are getting really crazy on all the parts and, and the bikes. And, uh, you know, Chad just keeps trying to explain to me, like, dude, you know, the, the parts go for X. Your time is worth X. I mean, people will hoard these parts and they'll sit there, they'll try to put a bike together, and it's not easy making all this stuff work. You know, I'll tell you. You don't know. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> you know, you take a frame apart, it comes with these old parts, you know, the original parts. You take apart the bottom bracket, it falls apart. Everything falls apart on you. And you've got to piece together. you got to get bearing races that aren't burnt out and deformed and then you got to find good bearings i tend to put schwinn bearings in a lot of my stuff and you build that bottom bracket so it moves flawlessly most guys don't do that you also want to use the proper grease i use lucas red and tacky anywhere where there's bearings that's a high uh temperature grease i repack all my coaster brakes with it this coaster brake is a shimano d type so it's a quality coaster brake it's a vintage set of nice wheels, nice chrome wheels. Uh, they're not detailed. You can clean those things up so they'll sparkle. You know, I build my bikes up with a certain look. I like to keep some patina because it looks cool. But uh, it's got an 18-inch solid steel chrome pipe in here now. It's got a vintage Messinger seat. I just did seven or eight miles on this thing this morning super comfortable. I prefer a Brooks saddle, but next to a Brooks saddle, this is one of the more comfortable saddles you can ride. A lot of guys want these things. A lot of these came on the cruisers from the 80s, you know. The Lagunas, the Schwins, uh, S&S, you know. <clears throat> the grips are super comfortable. The chubby grips, these are the imitation Schwinn chubbies. Real comfy. Front brake's working nice. I was kind of surprised at how great it works. You got the old imitation Carlisle tires. I got the Mike Z Design sticker. Uh, there's not another bike I've made yet that has that sticker placed there, so <laughs> it's kind of neat. These pedals are kind of cool. I'm really not sure where they're from, but they're a cast aluminum 
heavy duty pedal. I mean, you're not going to break. There's no plastic there. So, Cleveland Welding Company, frame, clunker, cruiser, tough. You know, if you wanted to clunk it, all right, if you wanted to take this thing on trails, it's already ready to go. The only thing you'd want to do is maybe put a larger sprocket on the rear. I believe this is an 18 right now. No bends in the frame, no dents, nice frame. And it was a ton of work to get it to look like this. So I'm going to put a crazy number on it, probably over a grand, you know. And we'll see what happens, but uh, this is a one-of-a-kind ride right here.